Ethiopian princeling who became a top Russian naval engineer, meet Mikhail Mikhailovich Egyptios. He was born on January 20, 1861. He came from a princely family of Ethiopian descent and, as Russian sources say, was brought to Russia as a teenager by sailors. In Russia he entered the imperial retinue under the name Mikhail, and began a life that crossed continents and empires. He studied shipbuilding in Kronstadt and graduated from the shipbuilding department of the Naval Technical School in 1880. He then completed advanced training at the Nikolaev Naval Academy, graduating in 1886. Mikhail served in Kronstadt as a shipbuilder and overseer of ship repairs. In 1890, while senior assistant shipbuilder at the Kronstadt port, he developed a design for a 1,200-ton reconnaissance cruiser. That project proposed powerful machinery and a fast hull for its time, an early sign of his technical thinking. At the turn of the century he moved to the Nevsky Shipbuilding and Mechanical Plant, working on the cutting edge of Russian ship construction. In 1904, at the request of Vice Admiral Stepan Makarov, Mikhail and engineer Vladimir Kristianovich Offenberg, performed calculations for a device meant to detonate mines safely ahead of a ship, an early mines protection innovation. That same year he was appointed chairman of a technical shipbuilding commission formed under the National Fleet Strengthening Committee that coordinated ships built with public donations. In the summer of 1907, Colonel Mikhail chaired the commission to draft specifications and contract terms for a turbine-powered mine-layer cruiser of the Novik type. By 1909, he was senior shipbuilder and chief naval engineer, heading the shipbuilding department. In 1911, he was promoted to major general of the Corps of Naval Engineers. After the 1917 revolution, he stayed in service. He worked at Sudprokt, a Soviet ship design bureau, and from 1923 served as its deputy chairman. On the personal side, Mikhail was married and had a daughter. He lived in St. Petersburg, later called Leningrad. Mikhail Mikhailovich Egyptios died in the spring of 1932 in Leningrad. The core facts are supported by Russian biographical sources, his birth and death dates, his education, and his technical roles in late imperial and early Soviet shipbuilding. His life is a rare story of cross-cultural history, from an Ethiopian princely origin to the heart of Russian naval engineering. If you enjoyed this story, subscribe to follow Ethiopia for more rare biographies from history. Like, comment, and tell us which forgotten figure we should cover next.